So here's an occasion for you. The Chesapeake Bay Bridge opened 69 years ago tomorrow. How about that? Today, it's hard to imagine the Delmarva Peninsula without the bridge that connects us, well, to the rest of the country. But did you know there were other plans to make that connection long before the construction on the bridge began? You might not have known, but Secrets of the Eastern Shore author Jim Duffy, of course he knew. <laughs> and today's Throwback Thursday, he's telling us about those previous plans. Oh, I'm excited to hear about this. It's great to be here. The first one is the best one. Okay, and that because was 1907? 1907. Mm -hmm. And they were going to cross from uh, Baltimore to Chestertown. And it was going to be a trolley bridge for like... No, uh, trolley lines, yes. And, but the best part is when you landed in Chestertown, they were going to build 235 miles of trolley lines connecting all the towns. Really? On the eastern shore. That and had to have been an expensive uh, proposition. They found out how much it costs, and it was like $13 million, which is like $13 billion Bajillion today. Those, yeah, yeah mm. exactly. Okay, so, um, so they got sticker shock, and they backed off of that one. So it was 1907. 1907. What next? 1918. You know bunk beds, right? One right. on top yep. of the mm -hmm. other. They were gonna build a bunk bridge across the Chesapeake Bay. This one really? was gonna land in Tolchester. It was gonna have freight trains on one side and a trolley on the other to uh, Tolchester. And that one, they decided not to do it again, probably money involved. Yeah. And they went with uh, uh, expanding the current ferry service across the bay. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 It came right. close, but it didn't get there. Didn't work. Okay, so the right. third attempt was 1929. Yeah, that's the one that came closest of them all. So that was again, it was going to land at Tolchester up in Kent County. And um, it was more oriented towards cars. They actually allocated half, half a million dollars from the uh, federal government to do all the planning and everything like that, but we're in 1929 mm. and the stock market crashed. Oh, okay, so we're what, up to the 30s 30s, now? there's okay. various plans come and go during the 30s, and that's the first time they start talking about putting a bridge to Kent Island, but they never had enough money because the Depression was lasting so long, and then World War II came, yeah. and everything, it was just a lot Materials of talk and, and yeah. no serious action. And then... Whew. Finally, the guy whose name is on the bridge, William Preston Lane, gets elected governor. And he, one of his big campaign promises is to finally, after 40 or 50 years, get this bridge built. Lots of opposition. They called it Lane's Folly. And H.L. Mencken, the famous journalist, said that there was no way, there was ever not enough traffic now, there's never going to be <laughs> enough traffic. This is the stupidest idea in the history of the world. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, my. And then they ended up building another but one. He actually, yeah. But he actually did get shovels into ground, took construction, took three years and it opened 69 years ago tomorrow. There was so much sort of glad, glad handing and, and photo opportunities right. and the whole ceremonial first ride over the bridge that it took two hours to get across the bridge. So the <laughs> very first trip was the very first traffic jam. How about, How about that? that? And then like you said, it was just one bridge at the time. It was just yeah. one bridge and then just they built a second bridge. one exactly. and that's what we have today. Exactly. And when you're sitting in bridge traffic, you can think about how someone said there will never be enough never traffic. Never be exactly. enough traffic. Jim, thank you as always. I always love you your stories. Best. <laughs> oh my goodness.